What's up comic fam, comic fans, and it's time for another comic preview. We got the comic books coming out for November 27th, alright? We are really close to Thanksgiving, so for those of you who celebrate, happy Thanksgiving, happy Turkey Day, gobble gobble. Alright, let's get into the books. We got spec books, we got spotlight books, we got FOC books, and we got the rest of the books coming out this week, and we're going to do it all right after this. Spartans, what is your profession? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, let's do this. You know, if you've been here before, we start off with the spec books. Let's jump right in. First off, we got Absolute Wonder Woman number two. Number one fell, uh, flew, not fell. If it fell off the shelf, it's probably damaged. Uh, flew off the shelf. But we do have a couple of firsts in here. We do have uh, Steve Trevor. The absolute Steve Trevor showing up in this book. And then there's a first appearance of a character called Tetracide. All right, there are a couple of covers for this. Um, it's been, you know, this book has been um, hyped for a while. So there are a lot of covers, as you see here, pretty cool ones. There's some incentive covers. So yeah, just grab the cover that floats your boat. But, um, I am looking forward to this series. Also coming out this week is the second printing of issue number one. And there's more than one, including a Jeff DeKal foil cover, okay? So check it out. Absolute Wonder Woman has a lot of buzz. Let's get into the rest of the books. Number two on the pull list, Amazing Spider-Man number 62. Dope cover, and we have the first full appearance of Cyperion, who is a scion of Sidorak. All right. I, I believe each one of these issues is going to have another scion in it. All right. Whether these characters go anywhere or not, um, we'll see. Why is this a spec book? It's just a dope cover. And we do have a, a, a villain, if you will, in here. A cool villain. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's more for the cover and stuff like that. And I just think this is a early spec like this book's gonna fly off the shelves later on in life i don't see it being anything too major all right let's get into the last book justice league unlimited number one from mark wade he's been uh doing some really good work recently i think he's kind of finally been recognized as one of the better writers out there um you have the prelude to hush number two in this book and you have a first cameo appearance of a character called Inferno. So check it out. This is a really big roster. They're playing with a lot of toys. There's a lot of toys in this box. So we'll see what happens. All right. We're going to move on now from the spec books and go to the spotlight books. First off, we have Batman the Brave and the Bold number 19. This is the Todd McFarlane. <laughs> wow. Blinked right there for a second. This is the Todd McFarlane toys variant uh yeah if you are if you're into todd mcfarlane uh toys here you go here is a cover made just for you they've done a few of these in the past um and what's the uh batman's inner the inner batman that you know um, takes over when he does bad stuff this seems to be pattern after that and adam west batman all right little little mixture of both all right on to the next one we got west coast avengers number one there's some new members of the team it is a new team there's some villains you got ultron trying to uh become heroic and we got we got a new character in this one all right who uh there is a spoiler variant for that guy and his name is Blue Bolt. All right, this it, it is a surprise variant, not a spoiler variant. So those will be in stores as well. It's supposed to be one per shop. So some shops might have a couple of extra. You know, that's how the ball rolls. But anyway, let's keep going. The last book we have up is The Incredible Hulk number 19. This is a great horror book starring the Hulk. Uh, this is also a um, legacy issue so this will be giant sized hulk or hulk sized issue number 800 and we've had a character in this book for a while her name is charlie tidwell she she will go through some changes in this book and also uh 
you'll have a couple of guest writers in in this oversized book this will run you uh 7.99 eight bucks but hulk has been worth every penny as far as i'm concerned all right guys we're done with this uh spotlight books we're gonna move into those final order those foc books here you go that was a quick little preview but bunch of books coming out this uh, not coming out this week coming out in the future these orders are due on monday december 2nd let's go first off for those of you who can't afford the the actual asm 129 here is the facsimile all right i know that's a very expensive book these days so here is a more affordable way to obtain this book next up on the list this is nightmare fuel this is hello darkness number six this is the jenny frizzin cover Ugh. all right i'm not staying here very long <sighs> scary and then last but not least the man is back ultimate wolverine number one all right written by chris condon who did that texas blood very slow burn on that book maybe he'll bring more action to this but but what i will say is that texas blood even with the slow burn was a very good book um the way it ended and then volume two was amazing too so i'm looking forward to see what he does with this ultimate wolverine this is supposed to be a 12 issue uh maxi series we'll see where it goes i am interested to read this all right looks like he's got like a winter soldiery mask on uh, it'll be interesting to see who is behind the mask all right let's get into the rest of the books coming out this week all right and as always we're gonna start off with image comics so let's go what do we got it coming out of image uh creep show volume three is on issue number three falling in love on the path to hell is on issue number six that is a really good book check it out if you get a chance feral i've heard good things about it i've read like the first three issues Gromits is on issue number six of seven. A lot of people love Gromits. Uh, Hornsby and Halo is starting off. I was going to say it's on issue number one. It is on issue number one. And that is out of the uh, Ghost Machine imprint. So that's another Jeff Johns vehicle there. Um, Hyde Street is on issue number two. I believe that's more of like an anthology series. Uh, Knights and Samurais is on issue number three. Moon Man has a trade. A lot of good books out of Image this week. Some Savage Dragon if you're still reading that, and you got some Spawn if you're still a Spawn fan. All right, two ninety nine. Some classics out of the nineties. Tin Can Society is on issue number three. Universal Monsters Frankenstein coming to an end with issue four of four. All right, and Void Rivals, that is another great series. I believe it was on a slight hiatus, and it is back. Boom, here comes the boom, ready or not. Let's check out what they got. Creeping Below is uh, on a second printing of issue number one. Hello Darkness number five is here. Jenny Frizen's cover is a lot less scary <laughs> on issue number five and uh yeah and then we have uh red before black number three of six in the middle we're at titan comics uh where you got the savage sword of conan original omni for 150 bucks you can get some savage sword there and then there's star trek explorer magazine for you trekkies uh dark horse comics has uh fallout maximus figure all right we're at DC Comics, where Absolute Batman number one is on its third printing with the uh, Nick Dragota cover on the bike. That's pretty dope. There's also a Jerome Pena variant, and then there is a Nick Dragota foil. Cool beans. There's also the Incentive uh, 1 in 25. So some really cool Absolute Batman number ones. Before third printings, that's crazy. All right, Wonder Woman number one is getting a second printing, in case you missed out on the first one. And there are a couple of printings of that one, including a one in 25 black and white ink. The big one is Wonder Woman number two. Joel Jones cover actually is pretty dope. I mean, they're all pretty dope on issue number two. I think the... Uh, all the extra issues if you will are way nicer 
than than uh, cover A. Not way nicer, just they're all dope. Let's put it that way. Action Comics. Action Comics is coming out like every week, so it's crazy. Um, yeah, he's still trapped. So Batman has been trapped for a while, and he is still trapped in, you know, in the projector. Uh, what else do we have? We did talk about the Batman Brave and the Bold, number 19, the McFarlane Toys variant. That is out just in time for Christmas. We have Batman Santa Claus Silent Night Returns, right? So it's still November, guys. We could have waited one more week. We could have waited till after Thanksgiving. But anyway, issue number one is out. It's a five issue series, so it makes sense to bring it out now. I guess you don't want it ending after Christmas. Um, the Long Halloween, Batman The Long Halloween, Last Halloween is on issue number 3 of 10. Alright, the follow-up to The Long Halloween. Black Canary, Best of the Best. Six issues of Black Canary, just duking it out. So, if you're looking for uh, Black Canary punching things in the face, there you go. And it's literally just one person, but we won't go too far into detail. Uh, Detective Comics, there is a cameo appearance in that one. If you want to check that out, uh, what else? Flash, Green Arrow, Harley Quinn. Nice stable of characters. Justice League Unlimited number one. All right. Here's what we're going to do we're going to make sure we get a copy. <clears throat> and just like that, we got a copy. Hopefully. If it's not sold out because I'm ordering it last minute a lot of covers though so there should be a ton of these at the store so I'm not too worried about missing it multiverses collision detected uh, is it on issue number six of six so that's coming to an end night wings on issue number 120 a couple of cool covers for that power girl this Jeff the cow cover is insane this is an insane cover if I see this in the store, I'm going to grab it. That is such a cool cover. What else do we have? Superman number 20. That's out. You got a one with Super Lois on the cover. All right, and now we're off to the next, next guys. We're at Marvel, Marvel Comics on the list. We have The Amazing Spider-Man number 62, continuing with the eight depths of Spider-Man. Scotty Young is killing these covers, these death covers. These are funny. So I, I appreciate them. There it is. That's so dope. Yeah, I think on the last one he was getting uh, stepped on. This one he's getting shot with the, uh, the bug spray. Dazzler is on the penultimate issue with issue 3 or 4. If you're a Dazzler fan, is the Incredible Hulk. I ordered that. It is a fun book, guys. If you haven't been reading it, I mean, it's 19 issues in, so you'd have to get the trade. Iron Man number 2 is out. I read Iron Man number 1. Boy, is he going through some stuff. So that's crazy. Mystique is on issue number two. I haven't heard a lot about that. Spider Boy number 13 has a first appearance in that. I could have put that on the spec list. Uh, we have the first appearance of Hook It in a story. All right. So Hook It has had a first cover appearance, but this time Hook It actually appears in a story. You know, when uh, Marvel started doing that with those characters, those champions, you know, the new champion characters, they didn't really. Uh, know if they would use them in the future or not, but apparently there was enough buzz that they decided to put them into the ultimate uh, into the universe the Marvel Universe, you know, I think they you know in the back of their mind They knew they do it all the time unless people were like this is absolute trash, you know Either one person going yay and nobody else saying anything. I think they would have used these characters um, Ultimate Black Panther number 10 is the first full appearance of the ultimate Sorcerer Supreme Okay, Inan. So we'll see that that character popping up more often now. Uncanny X Men number six is out. Venom War number five is out. You got the new Venom on that one. 
what else we have the West Coast Avengers this is the design 1 in 10 design variant which is not the surprise variant Firestar looking good over there that's our germ cover and uh, yeah let's go dynamite what's coming out of dynamite you got the uh, I don't know, a lot of expensive uh, limited edition books then you got Lilo and Stitch number seven you got the garbage pail kids with some some more expensive covers red Sonia number 16 We're ripping it up lots of covers there some more expensive covers some metal covers they do have metal covers out of dynamite guys if you if you like metal covers they are making them over there and then you got Chitara on issue number five all right here's some diamond select toys I'll just open it up so you know like we missed some there they are those are all the diamond select toys coming out a lot of bus and then here are the rest of the books coming out this week Anansi boys is on issue number six Animals gets a second printing out of Invader Comics with issue number one and issue number two is out. Let's see, Banshees number one is out from Scout Comics. What else? Black Demon Tales Descent out of Scout Comics, that's on issue number one. A couple of issue number ones. And guys, if I forget anything, if I don't mention a series that's pretty good, let me know put in the the comments and I will try to check it out we got dead samurai number one this is a Bill Sienkiewicz cover that's out of wake entertainment dungeons and Din Din dimwits holiday special number one dread productions after dark that that might be a uh, whimsical uh, fearless dawn the bomb number four of four is coming to an end that's out of asylum press gotcha man is on issue number five we've got some manga and then you got kerpow number one out of scout comics a lot of number ones coming out of scout comics liquid kill that's out of massive that's on issue number two of four. That's volume two of Liquid Kill, by the way. Milk Run number one out of Scout Comics. So look at that. Scout Comics is dropping a lot of number ones right before the holidays. We'll see how that works out. I hope it works out for them. Yeah. Hope it works out for all the, uh, the publishers. Unless they're putting out absolute crap which case no uh oni press with rick and morty super special holiday extravaganza number one all right what else sesame streets on issue number four if there was one book that i'd be like what can you give to a child i'd be like sesame street oh, don't mess it up sesame street snaps number one that's out of dark harbor What else? You got some Star Trek and some Star Wars for you Star Wars and Star Trek fans. You know, Dark, Dark Horse is still doing some Star Wars books, so that's cool. Stitches, the Stitches out of Keen Spot Entertainment. That's on issue number one. Synap Mad Cave Studios, that's issue number one. Massive has Tales of Asunda, that's on volume two, issue number one. We're almost to the end here, guys. There's some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Number four, that's the new series, right? They rebooted it, starting with issue number one. Tibby and her psychedelic mushrooms, number one, out of Antarctic Press. Guys, you could have been anywhere. Yeah, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. We also have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 19. The adventure continues. I don't know why I felt the need to fit that in. That's probably why I stumbled on it. But we're at the end, guys. We are at the end. We're going to end it off with World of Betty and Veronica Jumbo Combo. Jumbo Comics Digest number 37. I would love a Jumbo Combo right now. I'm a little hungry. 
after recording this. All right, so comic fam, comic fans, do what you do. I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to get ready for this week's books. If you like the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Go ahead and throw me a thumbs up and comment down below. All right, deuces. Peace. What's up, comic fam, comic fans, and it's time to preview the comics coming out. What's up, comic fam, comic fam? <laughs>